Good morning, Rabbi Saya Guten Chodesh. Ah, the Ilu Nishmas Imi Moirasi Rusbas Mordechai. There's Rish Chodesh. We start a few minutes late. We are going to end a few minutes late, and I would like to show you some of the amazing pictures we received. This is Shua Levi, age ten, from Deerfield, Illinois. Working his way through Megillah with Rib Eli, your nephew, Tomer's nephew. Deerfield, I have a property over there. Deerfield Village, look it up. What is this? Oh, I have two pictures here. The same exact picture. I want to show you the second picture. Bringing Tyre to Warsaw, to Varsha, Yaakov Nussbaum, F217, 217, and Effie Zwegenhaft, Zwegenhaft, D89. Here's picture number one, and then I'll show you what I've done to the picture. Here it is. The only difference is the arrow. It's a very, very important arrow. He's in Varsha, and he's wearing his tzitzis on the outside. This is Ushi Grosnas, London, gold is green, daffing with my newborn Hannah Malia, my golden dove. Thanks to the amazing Shimi Leafman from Manchester for introducing me to Rebelli Shir. I've just joined the beginning of Megillah. Baruch Hashem, loving it. Ah, looking forward to making my first seam in many, many yoimis. Thanks for your amazing Shir, new daily injection. I'm a first cousin of the famous special Henach Schwinger. In a, with an abundance of a karsat toiv to Rebelli and the MDY family. Ushi G, have a great day. Here he is daffing with the baby. Izzy Weinreb. So Moshe Weinreb doing the daff with his son Eli, who's home for yeshiva off Shabbos, give Valdiga stuff. Here it is. Steigen away. Beautiful email here. I'm only going to read one email because we're kind of late and we have to do the raffle. Get ready. We have our in house Koyan and uh, what? What's your excuse? It's not about Yoitza. You're the most appropriate, most trustworthy. You write a column every week in the Ora Merkaz, and you're in a, a CPA, the kids are. My name is, uh, should I read this one? No, this one. By Chaim Tversky, who's also the name of our Rav in our show. All Tverskys, by the way, in my opinion, are all Bali Kishroinus Gdoilim. Very good heads. So he says like this, I'm sharing with this to you as it may find it interesting, although it may be slightly embarrassing for me, even if one person joins the daf as a result of this, it's worth it. That's my motto. Ah, even if one person joins and he's mevayish himself, it's kedai. After I left Koilol, I taught young Bachim for a year. Hashem had other plans for the last several years. He's a manal of Koilolim. He has nine Koilolim, around 200 young light. Aside from all the technical work involved in the English I need to raise hundreds of thousands of dollars to keep it going. Suffice to say, he's not asking us for money. Don't worry. I'm a frequent traveler abroad and, a, and our wonderful youth in the USA who proudly support Torah Sarah Yisro. While building all this Torah for Klai's where my personal learning suffered terribly. As I travel so often, I've not been able to hold down a Chavrusa as I've been Torah from Yeshivish, Chasidish, Lomdish, Yeshivish, and then full-time Koyal Daf Yomi just wasn't working for me. I need the clarity and depth in learning I was used to try many times over the past years, but my kvi them really suffered. I'm not a very organized, disciplined person. The kids are this past Tishrei and monks. The many things I died for, I begged Hashem to please help me learn bekvius. The absolute absurdity, listen to this. The absolute absurdity of my life, I always thought about this, the Rosh Hashivas and the Rosh Hashkailo. Absurdity of my life, I was st- staring me in the face. Here I spend my time giving up my life for others' Torah, yet I can't hold down a daily Seder. No way! Yes! Shlomo and the guy next to him. You get, should I say his name? That's my Akiva, Ravoy Sai. That's my Akiva right over there. <laughs> Woo! Love you. Wow, wow. Akiva. Somebody just asked me yesterday, how come we don't say this Mesechta? This is Akiva. Tainus is Mesechta. That's it. We got Tainus and that's it. Here he is. He's doing the daf. The boy says he's doing the daf. Crazy stuff. All right. I heard about your shir. We're going to make a l'chaim soon. I heard about your shir over the last several months and saw several of the famous clips of you that circulated before the start of Megillah. I again opened up one of the links to your daf yoimi. You were giving out free gemaras. And if one commits to watching seven shurim, 
thinking that maybe this commitment will get me to start, I jumped in. You got me on the first day with two points. One, it's not about the daf, it's about the yoimi. I'm a yid, and my neshama needs that daily Torah. Two, if you miss a day, skip and keep up with the current schedule. Every time I tried that yoimi, that did me in. I fell behind and eventually dropped out. We're almost done with this email. It's an uh, unbelievable email. Your shiur are a lot of fun, and there's always an incentive to hear what you will have to say the next day, that day. Also, even when overseas, I can always be part of the club, quote unquote, wherever I may be. I can always tune into this year. I know three weeks is not that much time, but you have brought about a real change in my life. Once my heart and soul have fed some Torah daily, just want to be fed more. Thank you for saving me. To all those others out there like me, I say jump in. Listen to this line. Would you rather be a yeshivish amaret, or are you willing to climb off your fantasy post and give yourself some Torah? Would you rather be a yeshivish amaret, or are you willing to climb off your fantasy post and give yourself some Torah? Join the Daf Yomishir or any other daily learning, but do it now. Every day counts. I will administer some sponsors this year, $180. I wish I could do more for the coming yard site of my beloved Zaydi and Rebbe, Rabbi Dr. Abraham J. Twersky. Should be a male yoshi for you and your family and all those who have a chalik in spreading your wonderful message. Chaim Tversky, Beitar Eretz Yisrael. And now, Rabbi Yisai, Rabbi Schoenberg is going to come up over here. Let me explain for a second. You can come, come, come meanwhile. You ready? Come, come. Come on, we need, we need, a, we need a, a Gavir Rabbah. He has, he's, he's not just the look. He's the real deal. And uh, we very much appreciate you're part of the share every day. So what happened was many people, 1,200 and, 1,250 people or names are in this bag. This is to ravel off a full art scroll shas. This is for people who brought in friends and people who joined, I think, no? Or maybe not. People who brought in friends? I don't even know. <coughs> Whoever. They're all in here. Here, you do it. Pour it in. Mix it up good. Now, I'm telling you right now, if there's Ive, if one is out, here, this one, I found it. If, if there's a name and an a email, great. If the name beats the email, that's how it works. All right, you ready? Don't look, don't look, don't look. You didn't look. Ladies and gentlemen, for the full shas, Nachman Taub. And the email is somethingmuncy at gmail.com. Nachman Taub from Muncy. All right. So the way it works, we're starting off now from Mike Cotton. Today is the official launch. Maybe yesterday was. If you bring a new person to the shear, tell that new person to go to joindafyoimi.com. You, as a current member, you go to growthesheer.com and get to put yourself in the raffle. There'll be another raffle. If you want a bulk order, you think you could do more than one Gemara, so go to growmdy.com and they will hook you up. You could be like Rafal the Barber. How many guys did he get? 40? Something with sugar. Or like Peretz Chaim Levin, or like those other guys out there. David, the Hatzola guys, whatever, Solkowitz, all those guys. All right, Parnas HaKadosh for the Koylo, is Chaim. Lili Nishmas Yeshua, Ari Yelev, HaKoyim, Ben Yonis, and Chaim, Zuchon Lebrach, 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 I just got a video from him, his mamish on the, on the Kinneret the other day, on a boat with Yossi Klein. He's, he's maybe 40 years old. It's unbelievable. Mesethus Megillah, and he has a trachea now. The Davis and Kessler fam- families in Schos for Fushlema for Miriam Esther Bas Devaira. Mesethus Megillah Shmuli Haft F245, and the Nishmas Rimad Hashem Pichas Tuvia, Ben Avram Moshe Peretz, May the Shama have an Aliyah. Paras Achoydish in honor of RL97 Akiva Tepper from Judas Yimitari Belli's Daf. Paras Achoydish Daniel, and I can't believe that Kivi is on. Daniel and Cyril Cohen, Schutz for Four Shlema for Gavriel Ben Yaman Ben Cyril Fruma, Mordechai Sapaznik, Lizek Nishmas is Rosh Hashiva, Rav Chaim Leib Epstein, that I used to dive in in Shul on Friday nights, Rav Chaim Leib and Rav Yosef David Halevi, the Rosh Hashiva of Yeshiva Zichr Melech, Mez and Shama have an Ali. I'll tell you the famous story. I only know one story from him, and I say this a lot. I'll say it over. Lili Nishmasai, the Bachar from his Yeshiva went to a friend's wedding, and they had a problem, they had a dilemma. 
If they stop, they could do mincha b'tzibur. If they, if they do mincha b'tzibur, they're going to miss the chuppah. What should they do? They called the Roshiva, and the Roshiva said, go to the chuppah. You're his friends, you need to be there by his chuppah. So one of the Bakram said, but I'm 20-something years old, I've never missed a minion in my life. And he said, Judaism is not about streaks. Maybe I ruined it, maybe I blew the line, but it's not about streaks. Right now, you have to do Ben Olam you break your streak. It's not about streaks. We're not in baseball. All right. And I'm not talking to myself. I'm on a streak. I'm going for the streak. Baichaya fixed Lilu Nishmas. She had a, a yard set yesterday. Yenta Bas Chanasara Rifka. Chanasara Rifka. It says Chanome. Anonymous. In honor of Elisa Fruchter, Antwerp, Belgium, and Volvi. Bibelman, Bibelman, Stanford Hills, upon their marriage tonight in New York, they should build a Bayis Nemim Bisrael Amid. By Dovi Starmigan, Shorley Rosen, in honor of her belly, dropping the eight minute Shas lawsuit. What is that? Okay. Larry Loeb. I'm, I asked him if this is an inside joke. It's an inside joke. Maybe, maybe there's something going on, and now because I mentioned it, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, I didn't drop it. I didn't drop it. I'm still suing. <laughs> Dovi Stein began surely. Uh, okay, Larry Lope, in memory of Chayit Sivya Shava, Bas of Romeir, Simcha Salman, Lili Nishmas, Mickey Friedman, Moshe Ben Tzvi Zichon Levrach, who was Yard Sager Shchoy Shvat, and his thirteen-year-old great-grandson, Bensi, just started learning the Fiyami with MDY. You know? No. Ira Greenstein, Lili Nishmat, our great-grandfather, Rabbi Nasha Simcha Ben Rabbi Chiel Friedman, Zeich Tzad Levrach, and his Yard Sager Shchoy Shvat, and for Shleim Chayavat Frida. In honor of our son Akiva Shalom, on your Bar Mitzvah. That's him? Yeah. When's Bar Mitzvah? Tonight? Yeah. Woohoo! Akiva, get over here! It's your Bar Mitzvah today, get over here! In honor of our son Akiva Shalom, on your Bar Mitzvah, love, Iman, Abba. Wow. Okay, somebody remind me, you gotta go to the Bar Mitzvah. Still, I mean, am I invited? It was? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, I think I was. I was invited. Baruch Atah Adin, Noy Lerim, Achilam, Shachron, Yim, Baroy. We'll make a l'chaim soon. Yeah, no? Open it up. We'll make a l'chaim. No? Akiva! Mazel tov! Yishmizoycha to finish Shas. What a tzaddik. Right. Every... Oh, mate. Oh, you saw that? It was a good bar mitzvah? Sorry, I, you asked me to speak and I forgot to come. <laughs> okay. We're going to open up this unbelievable bottle of Castell. It's a magnum. I brought it. I don't know. I think somebody gave it to me as a matana. Like, sukkah's time. I said I'm going to save it for something special. I think we're going to open up a bottle of Kavir Shkodesh. It better be a big one. The Kavit Shlomo Lazarian from Los Angeles. All right, somebody open it here. It's Rishkodesh. We got to do a little bit of a suda. Here it is. I came prepared. Zog Teilu Gemara. We're holding on the Afcha Falaf on the base. Ain't Poichas and Menvei Moisifin. Huh? Yeah, we did that. Avada, we did that. Republic Iglu Beik Nishtu Davi Goyver Vekor Rishon Arba Veshavchi Repopa. We said that. Any parts of Memvei Moisifin, you cannot add Aliyos and you can't take off an Aliyah Tana Apoiseach Mevarach Lefonel Vachoisim Mevarach Lachrel. So we learned in the Mishnah that the the first guy that makes an Aliyah that has an Aliyah only says the first bracha. The last guy that has an Aliyah number three, he makes the final bracha. But in between, you don't make any brachas. The middle guy, Levi, doesn't say a word. The first guy doesn't make the final bracha, and the last guy doesn't make the first bracha. Okay, says the Gemara, but that doesn't apply to our days. But in the kulum but in our days, everybody makes a bracha before and after his aliyah. What's the reason? We don't want people that. Walk in and don't hear a bracha, thank you for the cups. Or they won't hear the first guy sing a bracha, they won't hear that last guy. So they're going to say there's no bracha in the Torah. Okay? So let's say somebody walks in in Levi. And he doesn't hear the first guy make the final bracha. He's going to say, oh, you don't make final brachas. He's going to go to America and he's going to open up a shul. And he's like, nobody makes bracha. You don't have to make brachas. I was in Israel. I saw, I was by Rebbe Yashif's shul. And the lady didn't make, nobody made a bracha. There's a guy, I came in, they asked me, you came, you did the whole time? Yeah, yeah, I was there the whole time. But he really came in. Okay, 
Chaim, Chaim. Anybody wants your rhyme? Too bad. Okay. Fine. Our boy said, listen to this. Yeah, yeah. Can give out. Whatever's left over, I'm taking home. I'm going to have to celebrate. Castel. Castel. Today, Rabbi Sai, what, what day is it today? Rish Chodesh. I think it's as Gokha Pratis that the entire daf, everything's going to be about Rish Chodesh today. We're going to learn about laning like we never learned before, why we laned for Elias and how we laned them and everything. Different things about Rish Chodesh that we never knew, or even if we did, it's a very good refresher on Rish Chodesh itself. I just want to give you a, a quick Hagdama. It's very, very simple. We read 15 psukim in a row. They're all brought down in the Torah in a row. We don't read them 15 in a row, but they're brought down in the Torah 15 in a row. The way it works is, they're divided into three parshiyos. Okay, we finally get Uvaroshi Chachechem, which talks about Rish Chodesh. But we start off as Korban Ilach Mi Lishai. That's eight psukim. Then we have a small, tiny parsha built out of two psukim about Shabbos. Today's not Shabbos, but we read it regardless. Until we finally get to Rosh Hashim, 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 5 is 15, 15 psukim. If I want to divide these 15 psukim to four aliyahs, it's not a problem. I give three people four psukim, that equals how much? 12. And I'm left with how much? Three. I give the final guy three psukim, end of the story. But that's not the, that's not the end of the story. I can't do that. Why? Because I have different parshiyos here. If it was 15 straight psukim, I give one guy four, one guy four, one guy four, that's 12. Last guy three, that's 15. Beautiful. But what am I going to do over here? I have eight psukim. I can't give four plus four to Elias, and then all of a sudden now I have two psukim over here. So what am I going to do now? I'm going to give this guy two psukim of Yom Shabbos, and this guy over here, I'll give him, I'll take one psukim out of this five. Can't do that. Once you start a parsha, you got to read three. Oh, so I'm going to read three out of the five. How many are going to be left with? Two. I'm stuck. The last guy only has two psukim. What, I'm going to go backwards? Okay, that's what we're going to see. So we have a problem. This other, you, you get the gist of it. This is the gist. What am I going to do? Another option. Three plus three. So how many are going to be left over here? Two. I'm going to have two aliyahs out of the first parasha. Two aliyahs of three psukim. I'm going to be left with two psukim. Then what? I can't be left with two psukim. Why can't I be left with two psukim? You cannot leave a parsha with two psukim. It's also a problem. So either way, I'm stuck. That's why in Rish Chodesh, we go back. That's our sugi now. We, go, we, we must read one pasuk backwards. Now you have the Vilna Gaid and you have what everybody else does. And as you stroll, besides in this space marriage, every Ashkenaz space marriage in the world does like the Gaid basically. But we have a, a Hasidic Shebalkaira, so he stucks me out and he goes the other way. No? Oh, you do it? Oh, when I'm here. <laughs> you see when I'm here. Most of the time. Okay. Whatever. I just wanted to bother you. Fine. Wanted to make sure that today is going to be the right way. What? Uh, I'll, I'll tell you later. Well, we're going to get into it. In the, <laughs> okay. So let's see inside the problem. So what do we do? How do we lane? Mamish today. We never know. We, we read, we read, and we go back. We don't know why we do it. Here it is. This is the issue. You can't just give four, four, and four because you're breaking up different parshias. Says Gemara, If we're going to read twice, three psukim, out of these eight, now we're left with two out of the eight. You can't leave two psukim out of the eight. You have to leave three over. So take the eight, break it into two alias. Okay, now let's go weiter. What do we have? Two. Two is not enough for an aliyah. So you're going to have to take a little bit from the five psukim. Now we have seven. Five plus two. Now we have seven. Five plus two. Now we have seven. Five plus two. Now we have seven. Five If we are going to just take one possum out of the five, that's a problem. You can't start. You, you can't just read one, one possum out of the five Sukim parsha of Rosh Hashanah. Lick your tray, maha utlas mahach. So what are you going to do? Read these two plus three out of the five. Great. 
Hashalu tray. Now you're left with two. So number one, problem number one is you have Amen. L'chaim. Problem number one is you only have two psukim for the last guy. And the other problem is what if somebody leaves early? If somebody leaves early and there's only two psukim left over here for, out of the five, he's going to think that you can make an aliyah out of two psukim. He's not going to realize that you go backwards. Okay? That's the problem. Two problems. Now, why don't you just go weiter? Let him go weiter. Let him go after Rosh uh, Chachem. New Menachem. How can you don't go weiter? One possible. You have two psukim left over here in this parasha. Read two plus three. You have two psukim left. So read two psukim in the next pasuk after Rosh Hashanah. The answer is, the next parasha is talking about Pesach. It's Shalai Minyan. What are you going to do? You can't go, no Shaykhs. You can't read about Pesach on Rosh Chaydash. Okay. So that's that. Omar Loi, Zulay Shamati, Kyozib Shamati. I don't know. I, I, don't, I can't answer you, he says. Rabbi says, I don't know the answer. Interesting, right? He has Rosh Chaydash, Chaim, has Rosh Chaydash every day, every month. I don't know. But I'll tell you something different. I'll tell you something that I heard that's very similar. And we learned this, Rabbi Isai, in Mesech des Tainas. A lot of the stuff that we've been learning lately, we, we're very familiar with from Tainas. This Nan, what do we learn? Rabbi Isai, if you want to show off to your friends and you didn't learn Tainas, here's your chance. The concept of Mamadas. What is a Maimon? Somebody asked you, what's a Maimon? So I went to Yeshiva the other day and I said, what's a Maimon? No, so you got to do that for Yomi. That was my proof. You have to do that. Fine. What's a Maimon? That Klai Yisrael needs to represent the carbon Tamid. Somebody needs to be there to represent. <coughs> All of Klai Yisrael has to be there. But if they send the Shliach, it's good. So what do they do? They send some of the people, they break up Klai Yisrael into 24 groups, corresponding to 24 groups of Kaihanim that do every other every week. Some go to the Beis HaMikdash, some stay in their cities, daven, fast, do their thing. In the Beis HaMikdash, they, they read from the Torah every day. What do they read on Sunday? Why do they read Bereshis? So I'll, if you recall from Tainus, it wasn't so long ago, maybe a month ago, whatever. Kla Yisrael needs a kapara. That's what the carbon tomit is. If there's no kapara, no carbon, Kla Yisrael doesn't exist. If Kla Yisrael doesn't exist, Shemayim Varis doesn't exist. Remember that. So, to get a kapara, Shemayim Va'aretz exists, and that's why we talk about Beresh, Barali Kimis, and Shemayim Va'aretz. Fine. Zagdi Gemara, this time, by Yomarish and Beresh, Vihiro Kia. So it goes like this. Beresh, Barali Kim, and Shemayim Va'aretz. Here's the five sukim. Five sukim of Beresh. And then, in addition to that, Pasik Vav Zayn Ches, by Yomarish Kim, Yiro Kia, three more sukim. Okay. So we take these five psukim. How do you divide five into two? You have five psukim. You make this into two alias. These three psukim makes a lot of sense. It's one full aliyah. It's exactly three psukim, one aliyah. Great. Next. We ask the question. I understand is three psukim. Perfect. How do you divide five into two? You need at least three psukim per aliyah. Rav says, you go back. So Mr. Aliyah number two, Pasuk Dalet, he reads also Pasuk Gimel. He does the entire Pasuk Gimel again. And then he reads Dalet, hey, so he has three psukim. Shmuel says an incredible thing, we'd never believe it. Shmuel Amar Paisek. End of Aliyah. Amen. Next. He, he stops the Pasuk smack in the middle. He breaks it where the red is. That's the next Aliyah. How come he doesn't hold like Shmuel? Says Rav, you don't have the right to break up a Pasuk. So I saw that Chorayim talk about different times that we break up Sukim, And they don't know what to do. They really, it's like very, very complicated. Where do we say a half a Pasuk? No, Rabbi say, where do we say I have a puzzle? Very good. Levi says in Kiddush. Some sorry for asked the question. It starts, the puzzle starts. Well, no. We start smack in the middle. 
I don't. You do. At any rate, you know, I'm just curious to see, what if I chose the raffle? Yeah. <laughs> just, I'm gonna get killed. You would have chosen the same one, it's algorithm. Akiva Stefanski! She! <laughs> is another one. is in a different chumash. It's in Bamidbar. Some people don't say. Chaim Vlajah says it's a mistake. It's a toss. Kids, there's a lot of stuff. Yahalulu Hashem Hashem. is the other half. The 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 tibur says Chazan says half. Fine. They talk about these different things. But the point is, you should not break a Pasuk in the half. Says the Gemara, Ushmula Mar Paskinon, we break a Pasuk in half. Va'amar Reb Chanino, Kara, Reb Chanino, who's the real, what? Chananyo, Chanino, Chananyo, fine, Kara, Tsar Godel, Hoyeli, Eitzel, Reb Chanino, Hagodel. I had a big, a lot of pain. Velo Hitali, Lifsoik, Elo, Litinogi, Shabbis Ravan. I wanted to break the Pasuk in half. He said, listen, if you're going to teach him cheder and stop every word and explain is in the beginning, da, 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 you, you break it up. Fine, that's to teach the kids. Islam and Asuyim. Says Gemara, Hosam time and Why did he give him permission to teach children? Because there's no other way. How are you going to teach a child a whole pasuk without him getting confused? So over here says Shmuel, what are you going to do? You have no choice but to break. You only have three psukim. You have to make. You have five psukim. You have to make two aliyahs out of five psukim. You have no choice. So we break it up. How come Shmuel doesn't say like Rav? So he's concerned about somebody that comes in late and he sees that they only read the Zaliyah of two psukim. And all, all of a sudden, where does the next Zaliyah start? The next aliyah starts, according to Rav, the, aliyah, the second aliyah starts in Pasuk Gimel. A guy just showed up to Shul. And all of a sudden, they start reading Pasuk Gimel. So what is he going to say? Oh, the aliyah before was only two psukim. Problem. Not a problem. He's going to go open up his next Shul, and he's going to institute the wrong minogim. The same thing with Hanachnasim, people are, uh, Yaitzen, they're going to leave early before they have a chance. Let's say a guy leaves over here, after here. So he's going to think that the Dali is only two psukim. Yeah. So I mean, I had a lot of trouble understanding it. I mean, a person is 50 years old, his entire life, he's been in shul. He knows how it goes. He knows there's always three. What, what's, the, what's the whole thing? With the... But then I, I'm not saying an answer, but what came to my mind right away was that we be'etzim are nechnasim be'yaitzim. The famous marshal from the Chavetz Chaim, but we come into this world, we get dropped off here, thousands of years into creation, and we have, we have caches. We, we always have a cache. Why, why did this guy die He's so young? And how come this guy is, has such a terrible life? And this guy doesn't have pernosa? And this guy did... Don't ask questions. If you, if you just came into shul now, and then you start building theories on things that you see, what, what are you asking Shailas? The Chavetz Chaim says, a guy shows up in the shul, and he goes up to the guy, he says, you're doing it wrong. Give the guy over there that first aliyah, then the guy next to him. The guy says, Meshugana, last, last week, that guy had a yard site, that guy had a bar mitzvah, that guy had a, what do you, 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 you're going to come now and tell me how to give aliyahs? And that, that, that's our life. All right, we're nechlasim yaitzim, in the thing. Exactly how it works, and why there was so magnet for people, I don't want to call them losers, but a guy coming late to show, he shows up, Chris Atoyer on Shabbos. And I have to worry about him coming into the second aliyah? Yeah, for whatever reason, I have to worry about it. Zog de Gemara. Question. <laughs> if you have six psukim, so you break it up into two aliyahs, three and three. If you have five, like over here, five psukim, one person reads it. Carter Rish and Shloisha. But what if the first guy read three? Hasheni Kari Shnaim, Reparsha Zuba, Chome Parsha Cheres. So Tanakama, let's remember this Tanakama. Tanakama says it's not a problem to steal a Pasuk from the next Parsha. One Pasuk. You don't have to go three into the next Parsha. One. Look, look what it says. Two from this Parsha, Dalad and Hay. And you're going to be Rukia, Chap one. It's not a problem. 
V'yesh Oymrim, and this is how we pass in Shloisha. You, if you're going to go into the next parasha, you're already going to the next parasha, you must read three from the next parasha. Lefi she'eim atchilim parasha pops v'shloisha p'sukim, because you can never read less than three p'sukim per parasha. V'misa, and if it's according to you, l'man do'ma do'ilig nidloi, Rashi is not goyris l'man do'ma poisig nisoyk, because it just happened. Uh, the guy by mistake, the Valkyra says, he just happened to, to, to read three psukim. But according to Rav, let him go backwards one. What's the problem? Let him go back one pasuk. Shani Hosim, Dev Shabachi. You know why? Because typically, you can just continue on to the next parish. It's not going to hurt you to say, Vayirakia. It's not going to hurt you to continue on. Sometimes it hurts. Sometimes on Rish Chodesh, you don't want to go into Pesach. It, it ruins it. We're not, we're not Pesach today. We're Rish Chodesh. You're going to say something else. That if you are going, if you forget, and you now you don't have enough psukim left for the aliyah, so you must read three psukim from the next aliyah. So two, the sandwich. When you go into a parasha, you must read three. When you leave a parasha, when you finish an aliyah, make sure there's always three psukim left in that aliyah, in that parasha. Says the Gemara Pshita. Hashtumat chalta the Kamekal Tanakama. We had a machlaikis a second ago between the Yeshoimrim and the Tanakama. The Yeshoimrim says when you jump into a new parsha, it's enough to read one pasuk, you don't have to read three. Yet that same Tanakama holds that when you leave off, you must leave three psukim. Hashtumat chalta the Kamekal Tanakama. Machmiri Yeshoimrim. Sorry. The Tanakama was Mekel in that case of the beginning of a parsha. He says, you don't need to, if you go into another parasha, all you need to do is one pasuk, but the Yashayim say you have to do three. Shir, the machmer tanakama, when you, fi- yeah, when you finish a parasha, when you finish an aliyah, make sure, says the tanakama, you must leave three psukim. So certainly, like Kolchkein, the machmer Yashayim So certainly the Yashayim are going to be machmer. Says Gemara, Ma'ud the same in Echnasim Shechichi, Yoysim Le Shechichi. I would think that it's very, it's very Shechiach that people come late to Shul. That happens. You see guys strolling, I'm serious, I, I, one day I had to run back home, whatever. I see a guy like during, we're holding his door, he's holding his coffee, he's, he's taking s- s- small steps, he's walking the show. But to leave early, that's already, that's already different. Uh, I was the guy leaving early, that's fine. But it's not shechiyah. There was a Gemara in Brachas, Davches, that talks very, very strongly about somebody that leaves Kriya Satayra. And in fact, it's halacha, look in Simen Kuf Mem Vav. If there's a, the way that the halacha works, and it's, it's shocking. If the laning creates a Torah, it's usher to leave the shul during laning. You could leave between gavra and gavra. But in the middle of laning, it's usher. Even if you leave 10 people there, and even if you heard creates a Torah. So if you, let's say, you need to go into a shul and grab a safer, you got to be careful, sort of, I think, maybe. It's yesh, yesh lachkar. Even though it's obvious that what you're doing is you're not embarrassing the Torah. You just walked in and you're trying to grab a safer. But just, just keep this in mind. I'm not passing Allah. Just keep it in mind that leaving while the Bakir is laning is a terrible thing. What's the Lashon over there of the Gemara? Oizvei Hashem yichlu. Oizvei Hashem yichlu. You'll be destroyed. Leaving Hashem, you get destroyed. The Gemara talks about it. Somebody, I forgot. But Papa or somebody was learning the Bishman, but he turned the other way. It was obvious. Fine. Kiddush Club. It's a big question mark, especially if they leave in the middle of the ben gavra le gavra. No, whatever. No, 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 no mitzvahs, no excuses. It's mamish. It's embarrassing. Yeah, yeah. No, I have the kiddush club is a mitzvah. Yeah. V'tana kama ma'ishne shiur deloi. I'm leaving that chair. He's against kiddush club. Yeah. V'tana kama ma'ishne shiur deloi mishum yoytzim. Now, why is it that? The Tanakhama says, it's not a problem going into another parish. You don't need to read three psukim. Why? Mishum yoytzim. Atchul dinam gzeiro, mishum hanichnasin. Sorry. Why is it when we, we finish off the, the, the parasha, he says, you must leave three psukim. Why do you have to leave three psukim? Because of the guys that are leaving the shul. Guys leave early. They're going to see you only left two psukim, and they're going to say, be confused, and they're going to go to another place, or whatever it is, they're going to get confused. But also, why aren't you concerned about the people that come in late, like we said before? We had two xerists, people that leave early and come late. Says Gemara, If you come late, you're in the shul still. 
So you have a big problem. Oh, how did they make the first Ali only two Pesukim? So you ask. You go over to people. What happened there? I can't believe it. I came a little late, but you make Ali there two Pesukim? Somebody's going to tell you the answer. But, right? They'll tell you no. They read three Pesukim. We just had to go backwards one Pesukim. So it looked like to you that, that they only read two. But the guy leaving early has nobody to ask. He has two Pesukim. And he went home. That's it. He's stuck with the question. He has nobody to talk to. He's going to make the wrong psaq. Now Rashi points out what the halacha is. Don't get confused. What's the halacha? By ma'amadais. Not on Rish Chaydash or anything else. What's the halacha when it comes to ma'amadais? You go backwards. And who goes backwards? The middle one. So the question is, according to Rashi, the Gemara is talking about Mamadais. This is a question, is the Gemara maybe talking about Rish Chaydash also? And the, that's, maybe that's why there's a, there's a Machlaikis. Emtsoi, if you think about it, what's the middle one? There's two alias. So it goes like this, Rish Chaydash, just to make it very simple so you understand what's flying, because I don't know if I ever understood what was flying, I'm not about Kaira. The first aliyah and last aliyah of Rashi Chachechem are always, everybody holds it's the same. Say the three psukim here and the, the parish of Roshi Chachechem over here. The question is, where do you go back? Do you go, do you take a Pasuk back by the second Aliyah, by Levi? Or do you take a Pasuk back, or more, the Vilna Goyen goes back three Pesukim, by the third Aliyah? Vilna Goyen goes back third Aliyah. Why and how, I'm not exactly sure, but I, I believe it has to do with this Emtsoi thing and how we go is here. And the Minig in Eretz for Ashkenaz, like many other things in Eretz Shol, is to go like the Goyen, unless you're Hamish and Hasidish, and they probably do it like in America, which is by the first Aliyah. The second Aliyah, I mean the first, the first opportunity, the second Aliyah. Zah klal, kol sheyesh boi musaf, iboilu. Tainas ibar v'kama, how many Aliyahs are there in a Tainas? Rish Chaydash, umo yedeke karban musaf arba. We had Aliyah on Rish Chaydash. Again, we're talking about Rish Chaydash. The whole daf is Rish Chaydash. Rish Chaydash is extra because of the extra karban we do for. Avalacha, they like a karban musaf loy. There's no karban on Tainas ibar. Oidim ahacha nami yekem musaf tefillah. There's an addition to the, to the Shemayin Esrei called Anenu. Because of Anenu, maybe we should add another Aliyah. Tashma, Baroshi Chodashim, Uvah Chodashim, Uvah Chodashim, Uvah Chodashim, Uvah Chodashim, Look at our Mishnah. It only says, the only time you make four Aliyahs is Rish Chodesh and Chalamay. Habatayin Sibur Gimel. So it says, Gimel, that's not a good Raya because I could be medagged the same thing from the Reisha and the Reisha. B'Shainu, V'chamisha, B'Shabbos, Uvah Chodashim, Uvah Chodashim, The only time you read three is Monday, Thursday, and Friday afternoon. Habatayin Sibur, what? Shabbos afternoon. Habatayin Sibur Arba. It, you could be medayik that a tainus. There's four aliyahs. Ela mahal like the mishma. So don't prove anything from the mishma. Tashma. The rav ikle le bavel. Rav went to a city called Bavel, like New York, New York. It's New York within New York, Manhattan. Yeah, it's bubble within bubble. When did he go? It's a good story. The rav ikle le bavel, but tainus sibur on a tainus. Kam kara besifur got an aliyah. So he started reading like they used to do. The guy getting aliyah. The the, the, the rav getting aliyah. Reads from the Sefer Torah. Pasach Baruch. So he said, Baruch Hashem, Baruch Hashem, Baruch Hashem, Baruch Hashem, Baruch Hashem, Chasem v'loi Baruch. But he didn't say, Asher Nasa Lada Torah Semes. He didn't finish off the Baruch. Nafal Kule Alma and Payu. They all fell down on their face. Viravli Nafal Alape. I'll show you the picture because it has to do with the Sugi later. But L'Chaira, this is what they did. I hate taking these kind of pictures. But Lomaisi is wearing a yarmulke and he has Tchelas, so... It turns out he's a from Yid. <laughs> so this is Neifel Aponov. Different than Ashtachavah that we're going to see soon. His hands are over here versus his hands are out like that. That's a full uh, Ashtachavah fight. This is what they were doing with We're going to see soon in the Sugya. Uh, if we get there. Like the shoes. Huh? No, the shoes. It's not on, it's not on Yom Kippur. This is, every day this is how they used to do that. Today we go like this. And in those days they used to fall down on their face. Michti Rav Yisrael Kara. What was Rav? He's not known to be a Kayan. He's not known to be a Levi. He must have been a Yisrael. So he got the third Aliyah. Oh, so Gemara has a great Raya. He got the third Aliyah. Why didn't he say the Brach after his, his, his Aliyah? The Bakari was finished. He should have said, Asher Nasa Lanatar Zemes. Obviously, knew, obviously, somebody was getting Aliyah after him. And it was the Tainus Tibur. Obviously, there's a fourth Aliyah. Michti Rav, my time at Chosavali Baruch, Lamishum Dubai, Lamikri Achrina Bas, right? Loi. Rav Bekahani Kara. Yes, he was Yisrael. He got the first Aliyah. Why? Because he was the God of Ladar. Who's the God of Ladar in, in Bavel? Rav. The Harav Huna, Kari B'Kahani. We see Rav Huna, the God of Ladar, also used to get Kayan. Bishlam, Rav Huna, asked the Gemara. 
Yeravuna was Yisrael, Kari Bikahani, he got Kayin Y, the Hafilu, Rav Ami, Rav Asi, the Kahani Hashivi Dari, the Yisrael, the most important Kayhani in Yisrael, make of Kaivalu, the Ravuna. They knew that Ravuna was the Galadar, El Rav, Oike Shmuel, the Kahanahu, with Dover Ale. But Shmuel was a Kayin, and Rav used to give COVID to Shmuel, so how could Rav take the first Aliyah? Says the Gemara, no, Shmuel Nami, make of Hayekaivli, the Rav. Shmuel knew that Rav is the Galadar. Rav would David lay covet, but Rav gave him covet. He only gave him the honor when Shmuel was there, but not in front of him. What happened? There's a famous story, and this is important for the whole Shas. Shmuel wanted to heal Rav. He had a major problem in his stomach, so he gave him something to eat without telling him. Because part of the trick is to trick the person eating it. Obviously, you have a tremendous stomach ache. You don't give him a bathroom, and he goes crazy. And the, the stomach turns in inside out and he gets healed. Rav was furious. Who's the person that gave me this to eat? Whoever that person is, he shouldn't have any boys. And the person that gave it to him was Shmuel. The curse lasted. Shmuel never had any sons. So, but when Rav found out that Shmuel was trying to help him, he felt really bad, but he couldn't take back his curse. So he said, I'm going to give you honor. And that's why for the rest of the Shas, it's Rav and Shmuel. Rav gives him covet. When they walked in, the famous Gemari walked into the, 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 the Pidyan Aben, he let him go first. He always gave him honor, but Rav was much greater than him. In fact, the Gemari in Baba Kama says that Rav's Talmud, Ravasi, was greater than Shmuel. That's how far Shmuel was from Rav, but he gave him the, the honor. So that's what the Gemara is saying over here. It, it was just, it was almost a game that, that Shmuel was in the same, but Rav should get Kayan. In front of Shmuel, he wouldn't take Kayan because of his thing that he gave him honor. But when, when Shmuel wasn't there, Rav got Kayan. How can I stop it there? In our days, somebody in the Kayan is a Kayan. He said that he got, he got Kayan and Rav Liyasha got Shlishi. Because in our days, we don't do it. Even though Rav Liyasha, according to everybody, Hasidim also agreed, Galadar. In our day, we don't do it anymore. So, how can I stop it there? Because if he was reading the third Aliyah, Lefonea, my time of Baruch, we just said, you don't, you don't make a bracha before, you don't make a bracha after if you're stuck in middle. If you get the middle alley, you don't make any bracha. So why did Rav, Rav make a bracha? The answer is, because he's a kind. So he's like, no, no. We say that everybody makes brachas. You can leave whenever you want because we're just going a little later today. This is the only day of the year that we officially started late because of Rish Chodesh and the Sikin uh, who works out. Fine. So if he made, if it's that after the takana, and after the Takani, you make a bracha before and after, like we do today, let him make bro- both brachas. Shanech the Yosef Rav, the Mayel Aili, Meipak, Loi Nafki. People would not leave the Shul at all. So he made a bracha before because of the Xera of Nichnasim, but he didn't make a bracha after. He didn't make a bracha after because nobody would leave the Shul. There's no problems over there. And I, I saw because of his COVID, nobody would leave. We just turned, we're starting a new sponsor here by Moshe Horn. And Woody Wyman as a schuz for Morty Moskowitz. And in honor of rebellion for all that he does. Toshma, Zaklal. Koshishli bitol mlacha alam. He going to see where the above karen shloisha. Anytime there's, so we have, l- listen to this. We have a first surprise that says, if there's bitol mlacha, tainis tibor, the tish above? We're talking about tainis tibor. How many aliyahs are there in tainis tibor? It says in the price, karen shloisha. End the story checkmate. Bishayim boy bitol mlacha alam. He going to rush chadash of chadash shamayid. When there's no bitul melacha like on Rish Chodesh and Chol Maid, Chayin Arba. Shema Mina, perfect raya. Now, Rabbi Sai, I know it's late, but we have to see this Rashi. It's very, very important. Rashi says, and he brings a Taisus here. Rashi did Ramaskal of Roshi Chodashim. Vani Motzati beperik me made the rise of the rebel. He has a shamu hanoshim vele rotzulitin in his main lebalim. By the eagle, the women didn't give their jewelry to the husband. El Amr lem atim roitzim lasis pesel masecha sheim boy koyach lahatil. Benazak gashbochus charim shal nashim boy lemazeh. Shemeshamish gave the women a yantif called Rish Chodesh because they stuck up, they didn't want to participate in the eagle. Yosem and Anoshim, Ulo Oil Mabba, He Masidis this Chadish Kamer Rosh Chadashim. So Rabbi Shlomo Zaman Oyerbach says that women in our days could do laundry. Rabbi Chaim Kanevsky says women should ask their husbands to do laundry. And I was thinking to myself, obviously Rabbi Chaim Kanevsky doesn't know me. Like, if my wife had asked me to turn on the laundry, that's the biggest tsar, and uh, it'll take her months. She's still asking me to call my son's Rebbe the last six months. All right. Zogti Gemara. Uh, 
So we see that Tainus Seber's three alias. Omer Ravashi Vanant Nan. Vanan Lit Nan Ochi Isaac Lal. Kol Yom Shish Boy Musa Veino Yom Tev Koyin Arba. It says in our Mishnah there's a rule. Every day that there's Musaf, and it's not a Yantav, you read for, Lasuyi Mai, Lav Lasuyi, Tainus Tibur, Vitishabov. Lachaira, Zach Lal comes to add something, even Tainus Tibur. That it should be four alias, and Tishabov. Well, Ravashi, Masnisa Mani. Ravashi, that it's coming to add Tishabov. Now, who does it go to, according to? Loi Tanya Kamav Le Rabbi Yaisi, why? The Tanya, Chal Yais Besheni Vechamishi, Karin Shlish. If Tishabov falls out on Monday and Thursday, three alias and a mafter. Bishlishi Revive falls out on Tuesday and Wednesday, Kore Echad, only one aliyah and a mafter. According to Ravashi, our Mishnah says that there's four aliyahs. Who says four? It's either three or one. Nobody says four. Where did you get four from? Says Gemara, Rebbe Zimam Aloyelim Kore Mishlishi, Mafter Echad, Belikashi Zach Klal. But what about the Klal from our Mishnah? Loy, Lasu Yerush Chodesh Umayyad. Don't prove like Ravashi, Zach Klal comes to say that on a Tainus there's four. Zach Klal is coming to say Rish Chodesh and Chalamay there's four. But there's a big problem. What's the problem? Why do you need Zach Klal to tell us that Rish Chodesh is four aliyahs when the Mishnah says specifically? Yeah? I just realized, by the way, I mean, we don't have time, but why not? It's already late. Might as well. There's a guy from Los Angeles. I'm not going to say his name. Maybe he doesn't want to say. He sponsors every Rosh Chodesh for the Kailal, a Suda and the Kailal. He wants the guys in the Kailal to have a Suda. So go home and have some sort of a Suda. A little bit. Something. Is there any wine left over there? Yeah. Eli Galarin to want some wine. Give him some Castell before Shachras. Gonna, it's going to take a while. It's going to take until we start here. Oh, the sign. You know, we're starting in two minutes. Says Gemara, listen to this. This is amazing. I don't know if, I don't remember any time in Shas like this. I don't remember any Shas, but this is, this is unique. Simon of When the Mishnah says Zach Klal, it always comes to add something. Says the Gemara, no, not in this Mishnah. Zach Klal adds zero. All it does, it helps you remember. Why? You might confuse Yantav and Chalamayid. Yantav has how many alias? Five. And you might think Chalamayid also has five. You're not going to remember the Mishnah. So I'm giving you something to remember. That what? When does a carbon musaf karim arba? That you get four. Biyantif, the Asr Basi is malacha. Once you add something, you have to add an aliyah. What are you adding on Yantif? You can't do malacha. What happens if you do malacha on Yantif, Rabbi Isai? Malchus. Biyamakipurim, you add something. What happens if you do malacha? Donish karis. So you add another aliyah, so it's six. Shabbos, the Isr Skila, Shiva, unfortunately, we never. Left off so far behind, we will catch up. Ezer Hashem, Shabbos the Geiser Skila Shiva Shabbos Rabbi Yisai is even more calmer than Yom Kippur. It's a Skila. The seven Elias have a wonderful Chodesh, a wonderful day.